You may have been following this story. These are the brainwashed girls whom allegedly chose to, quote, run away while visiting their non-custodial mother in Utah. Uh, the mother, Michelle Wolfert, had lost custody and also lost her appeal after the courts heard expert testimonies and considered all the evidence and legal arguments. The court found that the mother was not credible. The court also found that, among other things, that the mother inappropriately coached the children, interfered with parenting time, and the children's relationship with the father, and did not appreciate that her behavior was harmful to the children. Uh, the district court transferred custody of the children to the father, and the mother appealed and lost her appeal. The father, however, still shared their children with the mother, Brian Wolferts um, had said that the last contact he had with his daughters, Danielle, who is now 14, and Sydney, who's 15 years old, was in early July of 2014, while they were spending time with their mother, Michelle Wolferts, in Utah for the summer. The girls were with their mother for a summer custody visit and were set to return to their family in Kansas on July 10th, but the girls never made it home. Yesterday, Danielle turned 14, and the father... His wife, family, and friends in the community made a video wishing Danielle a happy birthday and letting the girls know that they are loved and missed. And here is that video. Happy birthday, Danny. Danny. We sure miss you, and we miss Sydney, too. This beautiful fall season sure makes us think of you, Danny. With Halloween just around the corner being your favorite holiday, um, trying to get ready with treats and costumes and things like that just makes us think about you all the more. Uh, you're loved and missed, you're prayed for every day and not just by us in this home. There's a lot of people that uh, think of you and uh, as they've shared with us a few uh, pictures or videos that we've kind of put together, hope you enjoy this. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a caveat, they may be a little bit corny, but uh, like I say, it's just some of the people that miss you, think of you and pray for you every day. Happy 14th. We love you and hope you have a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Danny. Happy birthday, Danny. We love you. We wish you happy birthday, a very happy birthday. We wish you happy birthday, happy birthday to you. We wish you joyous year, a very joyous year. We wish you joyous year, and that your dreams may all come true. So have yourself a merry day, be happy and be bright and say. We wish you a happy birthday, happy birthday to you. We love you, Danny. Danny, in honor of your special day, we got the band, or a band, back together. Ah. Yeah. Ready? <coughs> a one, two, a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Love you, Danny. <laughs> Happy birthday, Danny! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Danny! Happy birthday to you! Danny, I miss you. I miss seeing your beautiful, smiling face, and I hope you know how much you are loved and missed. <laughs>
excited to get to know you guys, and I really hope you come back so we can get to know you a lot better. We love you. We do. Hi. Hi. We miss you. I specifically miss all the times getting to scare you. That was great. Come back, please. We miss you, Danny. Riley's yeah. not very fun to scare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's broken! <laughs> Where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she Yay! is! So that was heartbreaking, and um, unfortunately, that's something that I can identify with. I can I can relate with that, with um, that being the only way to reach out to a alienated child, um, at least to let them know that you're thinking about them, that you miss them, that you love them, that you want to wish them a happy birthday. My family and I have also made a, a family video and reaching out to our alienated child. So I applaud the the community too and the friends that were involved in the making that video it's it's a good thing um, what I want to point out what's disturbing to me what's repulsive to me but very indicative of what these people are dealing with and what the children involved are dealing with is the response from the alienator side to this video and and I'm doing this because I want people to realize for all the people that are sitting back and and say why can't these people get along for the children's sake? And those that are saying, well, there are two sides for every, to every story. There's his side and there's her side. And, and then there's, there's the truth. And Or for those that say that both sides are to blame. That both sides are hurting the children. I just want to point something out to you. There is, There are two gestures going on here. One of them is the video from the, the father, the stepmother and the family and friends and the other one is the response from the other side from the mother side in this case and if anybody were to take the time to objectively look at what's going on and let's take these two examples and look at them and ask yourself which of the two behaviors do you find disturbing which of the two behaviors come from a place of love and which of the two behaviors come from a very disturbed place a place of hate the family and the friends who made a loving video wishing their missing teens a happy birthday is that disturbing in any way disturbing or does that come from a place of love or the side who took the time to carefully select a frame which included the two loving parents the dad and the stepmom and took the time to make a still shot from that video took the time to print it and then decided to walk it into the bathroom and throw it in a toilet or place it in a toilet face up so they can take a picture of it and post it on a Facebook page which one of those two behaviors do you find disturbing which one came from a place of love